Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you how to make an infrared receiver like this. So, so every time you press a button on your remote control, no matter how far away it is, about I think about five meters away, the signal can read. Okay, the part you will need for this project is the most important thing is you need an infrared receiver. It's always good to know which one you have, which type you've got. If you're unsure what type is, if you have an infrared receiver lying around and you don't know what type it is, it can be a little bit of a problem because you wouldn't be able to know which pin is which. So it's good to know what type it is. You can go, you can just search up infrared receiver and um, identify them. You need an MPN resistor. This one's a BC547. And if you don't have that, you don't need to worry because you can also use a 2N222. Um, they also work perfectly as well. And what you need is a 4.7K resistor, as you can see. And what you'll also need is a um, 470 ohm resistor. You will need a 10 microfarad capacitor. And of course, the LED to notify to let you know if it's worked or not. Okay. We have the mini breadboard. It's important to look carefully. If you don't really know what um, how it works, um, you just have to follow pretty much exactly what I do. So we're going to start now. First, we are going to a we are going to put the transistor. I think just over there, as you can see, not closely over there. The next thing we'll probably do is put the um, IR receiver over there, following. So you've got to follow that. 4.7K uh, resistor. So far it should look something like this. Uh, the next step what you should do is the LED. You're going to have to put it upside down and the cathode, I just focus it to show you where it should go, should be connected right behind the transistor. Yeah, um, just go like this. And we just go use the jumpers. So, as you can see, uh, this green wire connecting to that pin of the transistor should jump all the way to the middle of the pin, which is goes to ground. Okay, the next thing we've got to do is use a 470 ohm resistor. It should go um, right over here. So we can, so you can see easier. You so you can see easily what's going on. Okay, so we are going to Okay, so the positive will be the same like this. The positive connection will be like that, and the negative connection of the transistor. It might be a little bit hard for you to see, but hopefully you can see it. It will be in the same row, middle pin. And if you've done that, and if it, now we're just going to add middle pin of the receiver, the negative will go there, and the positive will go um, right over here, like this. It should be the same row that you put the pin of that transistor. Now we're just going to um, use Okay, you see that flash? If you press the button on your remote, remote control, or grab anything that emits infrared light, there you go. You've made your um, infrared receiver circuit and if you want a brighter LED you can get brighter LEDs 